Hello Martians and welcome back to the lack of an opening video once again. So today I have some really fun art because I haven't ever drawn any Avatar The Last Airbender fan art at all ever. So this is my first time doing it even though I loved the show when it first came out many moons ago, like so long ago. I remember seeing the trailer for it. Uh, me, my brother, and my sisters, we watched it and we we're like, this is amazing. We can't wait for it to come out. And it didn't come out for a while. Eventually it did come out, obviously, because uh, we were kind of hoping that it wouldn't be one of those cartoons where they showed this awesome show with this amazing premise. And then it just never, it just never happened. Anyway, so this is my first time trying any ATLA stuff and I'm super excited about it because I love Toph. She's my favorite. She's my favorite. That's just nothing else. Toph and Momo. I love Momo. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so while I'm drawing this and getting the feel for fan art because I, I have, I try to draw what I want to draw and sometimes that doesn't translate well to like sharing it because it's so weird to pinpoint what people want to see. Uh, oh, we want to see more fan art, so you draw more fan art. But lots of people are like, oh, we want to see more traditional, or not traditional, original stuff, like your own creations. So then you do your own creations, and then that gets you nowhere, and the fan art gets you nowhere, and it's so confusing. So with that, let's talk about social media as an artist, because it is probably one of the finickiest things that you will ever have to encounter. And you have to encounter it if you're trying to make it anywhere as an artist because social media gets you places, it gets you things, and it's that's where your customers are, obviously. It's one of the best things ever. Now, social media, you can reach numerous people everywhere all the time, and it's super great when it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll use a couple of platforms that I am on uh, as an example. So we'll start with YouTube, because that's where I'm at right now. Uh, my YouTube is literally just flat out flat. Obviously, you can tell. What I want is to get my art out there. And YouTube is a really nice place to get it out there, like the process and stuff. Now, I want to do more stuff with it eventually instead of just drawing art and eventually challenges. But uh, for now, it's just trying to get it out there. There's like, you can do things. But it's, it's finicky because it's so oversaturated with other artists. And now everything's really oversaturated with a bunch of artists. And so you have to kind of find your niche and your thing and blah, blah, blah. But it's so hard to do that too because there's so many niches and some of them kind of overlap and then there's so many things to do that it, it just gets more and more impossible. Now, I'm not trying to discourage anyone because I haven't discouraged myself and I'm my own worst enemy. Everything I think about discourages me from doing anything. But it's, it's not to discourage, it's to help spread the knowledge of it. Art is art. As long as you're creating something, then that's that's fine. That's what it's there for. It's supposed to be an outlet. And if you can outlet through your art, then you then you accomplished it. You're an artist, and you're a good artist. That's that's all there is to it. But um, you're gonna run into some crowds. You're gonna run into a lot of crowds, and it, it's gonna be very hard to get your art out there. Uh, YouTube has so many wonderful artists. I remember the first artist I saw on YouTube. Mary Doodles, like way back in like 2000, oh boy, I want to say 2008 or 9, um, I saw her on YouTube and I just thought that was the greatest. And I originally started a YouTube way back then. The second I saw her drawing, I'm like, I could draw for people. But I was really discouraged in my art, so I kind of got rid of it. Uh, you'll never find those videos. I have them on my computer, but you all will never see them. Maybe. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll show them. Maybe. So many artists showed up that I, I kind of felt pushed out to the side. So now it's kind of hard. You really have to carve your way into uh, a standing at, on YouTube as anything at all whatsoever. Not just for art, it's for everything. But I think art is kind of dying on YouTube. I would like it to not because I think it's a really great outlet for artists, but it, it's kind of going the way of. Uh, with that, we'll talk about Instagram, speaking of going the way of, and they keep trying so many things. Instagram for artists is a nightmare. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen art on Instagram or if you are an artist that has uploaded things to Instagram and you have like no views like whatsoever. Nobody likes that. And you have a post that has been sitting there for eons and it does not show up. Like you have like two likes after five weeks. 
it's asinine. And the same thing is with Twitter. Like, you really have to get yourself out there. Now, luckily for Twitter, um, it's, you get uh, association. So if you have a word in your, you don't even have to hashtag it. You can, but you don't have to. Uh, but if you have a word in there that somebody has previously looked at, it will show your tweet to those people. And I think that's really cool. Uh, it's not the best platform for artists because I see lots of artists and I see lots of big artists, but it's, a, it's mostly a crap site. You, you go to Twitter to complain, not necessarily get anything anywhere, but if you're complaining about art, then I'm pretty sure you'll get just fine. Um, and we'll move on to TikTok. <laughs> Funny mentioning TikTok since today is the day that it was mentioned it's getting banned. Oh, well, anyway. Um, you could get a really good outreach on TikTok. Like, you could do anything. No hashtags, nothing. You could post a thing, and you got out there. It was really cool, and people would comment, and people would like and share, and it was such a good platform. Um, listen to me talking in the past tense. Anyway, uh, and even Vine. Vine was a really good place that I'd like to do art on, and it was so much fun to do art on these places. Um, but it's complicated. It's just very hard to get your stuff out there. Uh, because you have to fight through the crowds of other artists and make yours unique. And sometimes you might not think that it's unique, but in reality, it totally is. It's absolutely unique. It, it doesn't matter if your style looks slightly similar to somebody else's or your content is slightly similar to somebody else's. The thing is, it's your content because you're not slightly similar to somebody else. You're you and your art is yours. And that's what I love about art. That's just the best thing ever about it. Um, that it's you, it's yours, and it's that's it. So as far as social media for a, an artist goes, it's trial and error. You'll find what works for you, you'll find what doesn't work for you. Uh, social media now is like more against helping the smaller people out. So if you're just starting out, I feel sorry for you, champ. But you'll make it. You'll carve your way out there. Like I'm trying to carve my way out there. I've been doing this for so many gosh darned years that it's actually... It was discouraging a while ago, and then I stopped like doing anything anywhere. I'm just like, oh, let me just stop. But I literally cannot. Art is my life. Art is everything that I ever wanted to do with myself, from a small little bab to now. But you, you, you'll find out what works for you. You'll find out what doesn't. Um, as long as you enjoy creating it, it doesn't matter how many likes you get, how many views you get, how many shares you get. It's not about. <laughs> oh, okay, so now that I've thrown Tumblr in there, it's not about the reblogs or any of that. It's about how much you enjoy creating it. If you're going to create it for a purpose, like money, then when you don't get it, the money or anything like that, then it's not going to be fun to create. If you're creating it for you because and to share because that's why I create I create because I want people to see what I can do I, I like drawing and I want people to see that I like drawing um, then no matter what you do how you do it you're going to have fun uh, I've ended up rambling away this entire video so I'm going to cut it here I might continue this conversation uh, some other time but with that I'm just going to leave the video alone because I'm pretty sure I have to cut this down a lot so that way it can fit so with that you guys uh, have a good one and if you're a creative, create and have fun. All right. Talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.